we jump forward this stage um, in the narrative and Pedro is now 16. His dad is actually a very absent dad. And this is what happens on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Dallas say mum and me get that blanket from shopping. There's a letter on the coffee table and a neatly wrapped present under the tree. Delisay reads the letter, staring at it with graveyard eyes, before handing it to me. I stumble at the first sentence. It's time for me to move on. Stagger at the words, I'm sorry for not being a good husband, father. And fall at yours sincerely, John. My tears flowing hot and salty. Simple words. Words even mum would understand. In silence. The lights strangling the Christmas tree blink and burn red, yellow and blue. Mum returns from the kitchen with cold glasses of milk and a plate of shortbread biscuits, sugar dusted and cut into the shape of angels. Delise looks up at Mum, her cheeks black with mascara, but it's me who speaks. Sit down, Mum. Dad's gone, he's gone. Why don't you just sit down? Back off, Pedro, Della snaps. Mum looks our way and slumps to the couch, defeated. For what seems an eternity, we sit around the coffee table in silence. The Christmas lights blink and burn, red, yellow and blue. As a car alarm sounds down the street, as the milk turns warm in our glasses. The Christmas present. Mum staring at the floor. Delisay's buried her head in a cushion. Nobody's talking and I can't stand it anymore. I reach under the Christmas tree, past the baubles, lights and decorations and drag the present back to my lap. Dad's gift, wrapped in red metallic paper, sits there laughing. I rip a tear in shiny skin. The sudden noise waking Mum from her trance. She looks at the box in my hand. Scrabble, deluxe edition, I mumble. I turn the box over and start reading aloud the contents, almost choking on the words. With its polished wooden frame in Bosch playing servers, wooden tiles and velvet bag, Scrabble Deluxe is the perfect combination of good looks and improved functionality. Stop it, Pedro, Delisay moans. Pick your brains, rack your brains, and marvel at the built-in turntable, which allows the board to turn easily during play. I stand up and rip the lid off the box, dumping the contents onto the coffee table. The short red angels snap and crumble, the velvet bag falling to the floor. It's a good present, Pedro, Mum says, trying to be diplomatic. How can you say that? How can you say that, I yell. He's a bastard. Stop it, Mum cries. Stop it. I reach down and grab the velvet bag and dig out a handful of letters. Come on, then. Let's play. I hurl the letters at the Christmas tree, dislodging the star on top. How do you spell prick? How do you spell fuckwit? I scrunch up the bag and throw it hard against the wall. How do you spell father? How do you spell son? I grasp the corner of the coffee table, ready to flip it over. But Delisay jumps up just in time, slapping me across the face. Get out of here, she says. I look at her for a moment, then march off to my room. I march at the back door, holding my old rifle in one hand my stinging chin in the other. The rhythms of rage. I hold tight the barrel. I swing it like an axe. I shatter, snap the windows, kick, slash and hack. I smash through the doorway, picturing his face. My fist through the fibro, tears at his place. I demolish his memory, destroy all I find. I splinter my fingers. I splinter my mind. Rip the recliner, I tear it apart, I puncture the silence, I puncture my heart. The final um, poem that I'm going to read to you is from this sequence. It's a bit later on, a year down the track, after not seeing his father for a year. Pedro receives a letter and a present in the mail, which is a journal, and it prompts him to write a poem about his father and about the effects it has, and we remember this on Father's Day, um, because this is the reality for some people. Falling, 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 through January, April, winter and spring, 
a year of natural disasters, a landslide year, Dad, of waiting. Dear Dad, Mum's never-ending forms, watching Mum tumble, bumble, fumble her way through welfare red tape, with me her only help. A year of natural disasters, Dad, and a landslide year of waiting. Seconds and minutes, Waiting. hours and days, Waiting. month of all bloody month. Waiting. Yes, a landslide here. Waiting. Waiting. Ordinary time stretched out, a cornucopia of emptiness, rolling, cascading, landsliding down through my life. Inanimate, not digital. Grey, not technicolour. Mono, not stereo, Dad. Infernal red glow of the cue counter to change. Just sitting there, Dad. Shifting and squirming in my seat. Daydreaming. Striving to remember. Yearning to forget. It's always waiting. Bed at night for my insomnia to pass, the nightmares to begin. Get off my back. The year 10 to hurry up and bloody end. For a word from Dallas and picking fruit up north.